Good afternoon. We are on Friday, the 28th of October, 2022. It's almost 3.30 p.m. Today is the Saints' Day of Simon and Jude Apostles. I'm going to be sharing with you the Mass readings for today, Friday the 28th. I'll tell you what the readings are. But I'll pray first in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell, Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. And we'll pray for Canon Peter Collins, Bishop-elect of the Diocese of East Anglia, where I live in Norfolk. O oh God, Eternal Shepherd of the Faithful, who has chosen your servant Peter as a successor to the Apostles and to preside over the people of God in East Anglia. Grant him, we pray, a spirit of counsel and fortitude, a spirit of knowledge and piety, so that by word and example and faithful service, he may build up the church in our diocese to be a lasting sign of your presence and salvation through Christ our Lord. Our Lady of Walsingham, pray for him. Saint Felix, pray for him. Saint Etherelda, pray for him. Saint Edmund, pray for him. Saint Simon and Jude Apostles, pray for him. Our Lady of Sorrows, pray for him. The readings will be taken from the first, the, the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 19 to 22. The theme, you are part of a building that has the apostles for its foundations. The psalm is 18 verses 2 to 5 and the response their word goes forth through all the earth alleluia the gospel acclamation alleluia alleluia we praise you O god we acknowledge you to be the lord the glorious company of the apostles praise you O lord the holy gospel is taken from Luke chapter 6 verses 12 to 19 and the theme Jesus picked out 12 of them he called them apostles a reading from the letter of Saint Paul to the Ephesians you are part of a building that has the apostles for its foundation. So, you are no longer aliens or foreign visitors. You are citizens like all the saints and part of God's household. You are part of a building that has the apostles and prophets for its foundations and Christ himself for its main cornerstone. As every structure is aligned on him, all grow into one holy temple in the Lord, and you too in him are being built into a house where God lives, in the house where God lives, in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Reading from the book of Psalms, Psalm 18. Your response. Their word goes forth through all the earth. Alleluia. Their word goes forth through all the earth. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. And the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. Response. Their word goes forth through all the earth. Alleluia. No speech, no word, no voice is heard. Yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. Response. Their word goes forth through all the earth. Alleluia. 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 We praise you, O God. We acknowledge you to be the Lord. The glorious company of the apostles praise you, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The theme. Jesus picked out twelve of them. He called them apostles. Jesus went out into the hills to pray, and he spent the whole night in prayer to God. When day came, he summoned his disciples and picked out twelve of them. He called them apostles. Simon, whom he called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon called the Zealot, Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. He then came down with them and stopped at a piece of level ground there wa there, where there was a large gathering of his disciples with a great crowd of people from all parts of Judea and from Jerusalem, and from the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon, who had come to hear him and to be cured of their diseases. People tormented by unclean spirits were also cured of their diseases. People tormented by unclean spirits were also cured, and everyone in the crowd was trying to touch him, because power came out of him that cured them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the Gospel reflection for today, the 28th of October, the Saint Simon and Jude Apostles' Feast Day, is from Luke 6, verses 12 to 19. Simon and Jude are mentioned among the twelve apostles in today's Gospel reading. In our Catholic tradition, Saint Jude has been venerated as the patron saint of desperate causes, cases. 
people have traditionally invoked his intercession when their need was at its greatest. He is known as the patron saint of the impossible. The origin of this belief lies in the fact that the names Jude and Judas are really the same and people were reluctant to pray to St. Jude in case they ended up praying to Judas the traitor unless of course they were really desperate and all other options had failed. Simon is called the zealot in our gospel reading to distinguish him from Simon Peter. This suggests that he had a zeal to do God's will as expressed in God's law. According to tradition, Jude and Simon were martyred on the same day. In today's first reading, Paul tells us that we are all being built into a spiritual house where God lives, a holy temple in the Lord, the foundations of which are the apostles and the prophets. There is a striking image here of the church as a spiritual building made up of living stones resting on the apostles and prophets. Elsewhere, Paul says that the cornerstone of this spiritual building is Jesus Christ. The physical buildings we call churches are a symbol of that spiritual building in which we are all living stones just as our parish church has solid foundations, today's feast reminds us that we as the church have solid foundations as well. We rest on the apostles like Simon and Jude with the Lord as our cornerstone. Our calling is to allow our lives to be shaped by those foundations and that cornerstone. The Lord, who according to our gospel reading, prayed all night before calling the twelve, intercedes for us all so they, that we may tr be true to our calling to become living stones in the holy temple of the church. We become living stones by allowing the Lord to reveal his loving presence in the world, in and through our lives. Thank you so much for listening. May God bless you and heal you. I'm sending you his peace in abundance. And may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And God bless the rest of your day. Thank you for sharing and praying for one another and your comments. I do appreciate it. God bless you.